remember this, that there will be a time you're going to make some decisions of what door to open. And um, I know you're going to think I'm crazy. Come here. I need you to come here. What I see is I need you to stand right here in that circle. And the Lord says, you know what, I'm teaching you, I'm growing you, I'm going to teach you things. Now come over here and sit in this circle right here. Well, that looks like the same circle I just left. Why would you move me here? It looks just like what I came from. Now I want you to come over here, and I want you to stand right here on this circle. And you're saying, well, why are you moving me around? I just moved distance, but everything looks the same. I don't see any change. But yet there is a change you're not seeing yet. Because come over here and stand on this circle right here. Now I want you to come over here, and I want you to stand on this circle right here, okay? And now he's saying, I want you to come over here, and I want you to stand right here. Now as you look around the room, things have changed. You can't even see where you were sitting because you were positioned and moved. Even though it looks the same, it's not. And God's saying, once you get here, don't be afraid to open the door because you'll choose right as long as you listen to everywhere he tells you to go. I speak blessings on you in the name of Jesus. I ask you, God, to anoint her and that her right choices will be of you. And you will give her visions and dreams and that they will come forth. I plead the blood of Jesus over her future and the things that you're doing in her life. I thank you, God, that you are the God that destroys every yoke of the enemy. And you bring rest at night. And you bring witty inventions. Witty inventions. Witty inventions. Witty inventions in the name of Jesus. Bless her, Father. And I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. If y'all would stand with me, we're going to just sing one more song and we're going to be closing. Have y'all enjoyed this this morning? I was going to preach and the Lord said, no, we're going to do this. So I said, okay. So I was really ready to preach. But I will tell you like this, what the Lord showed me. I've already shared this with some few people. But listen, this is what God showed me. It's so exciting because God is so incritic and the way he does numbers and the way he does everything in the kingdom, it links together. It links. And what he showed me is we are made of body, soul, and spirit. And I was going to preach on that this um, generation of curses and the body, soul, and spirit. And um, when the Lord showed me this, we are body, soul, and spirit. So we have a body and our soul is our decision maker. Our soul is right here. It's the choice that we make. Our soul will choose to either listen to the enemy or to listen to the Lord. But then we have a spirit which is linked to God and is linked to Him. And it's what God has for us. And it's a choice that we're going to follow the spirit of God or we're going to walk in the flesh. But in that process, the Lord began to show me the tabernacle and how the tabernacle is set up. And there's the outer courts and then there's the inner courts. And then there's the Holy of Holies. And when he does that, you look at the three. Outer courts, inner courts, and Holy of Holies. Three, body, soul, and spirit. And when you look at that, put that together, you realize this is the outer court. This is the outer court. The inner court is where we choose to wash ourselves and begin to run the direction we need to go and cleanse ourselves before we can go into the Holy of Holies. And what I want you to do is take a moment to cleanse yourself and say, Lord, I thank you. I praise you as I stand at the base and we've been in the Holy of Holies. And we are standing now in the Holy of Holies. And just for a moment, we're going to sing one last song to him. It's very, very easy. You all know words just one time through. Okay. Normally you don't uh, share your, your secrets. That what we were told yesterday and last night. God keeps dealing with me um, to keep to tell you something in the blue sweater. And using what I'm about to point at as an example of what God is wanting to give to you before you leave. Because you've even said in the secret of your mind, I came here I needed a word from God and I hadn't gotten really what I came for yet. Here it is.